Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Bruna. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful triangle pattern that you can see here made out of front post and back post double crochets. It's incredible. The detail is amazing. It looks like it's 3D in a way. As you can see here, all the, the ribbing kind of effect going around. So this is what I'm going to show you. And I've seen this pattern everywhere now on Instagram and on Pinterest. So I decided to learn the pattern. So I did, and I really, really wanted to share with you how to make this because it's amazing. People usually use this little pattern here, this little triangle to make blankets. So I really hope you like it. And don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you end up making this one or if you make any projects using this triangle, this pattern. And yeah, I would love to see if you make something. So don't forget to tag me at Brunetticality. So I hope you enjoy today's tutorial. So now let's talk about the materials that we are going to be using. So here's the yarn that I'm using. This one is the Bravissimo 50 by teslan.com. And here I have the beige, which is the one that I've created this one. And here I have the mustard in which is going to be the one that I'm going to show you in the tutorial. And if you want to use this yarn and buy this yarn, I'll link all the links in the description below. I love this yarn. It's my absolute favorite. If you don't know, I've been using this for a couple of months now and it's my absolute favorite. And this yarn, it's a DK number three and it's 100% acrylic. And here on this side, we have the tools. I'm using a small pair of scissors, a four millimeters hook. And then lastly here, I have a tapestry needle so that we can weave in all our ends. So these are all the materials. So now let's begin with the tutorial. So you can decide to start the middle with a chain of four, a chain of three, and then you can just slip stitch and then have a little circle. Or you can do with a magic ring in which is the one that I'm going to be using for this triangle. Also with this one, you can make with two shades like this, if you're gonna make a blanket, for example, or you can do colorful, or you can do with one shade only all over the blanket. So it's going to be up to you what shades you're going to be using. So as I have mentioned, I'm going to be doing a magic ring. And then to begin, we are going to be chaining three. And now going around the ring, we are going to be doing three double crochets. Chain three, five double crochets, and then a chain three, and then again five double crochets going around the ring. So now this is how it looks. We still need to add one more double crochet for the first group. So we are going to chain three and then we are going to be creating one double crochet, just like that. And then we can now close the magic ring by pulling the end nice and tight. And what we have to do now is to find the chain of three that we've created at the beginning Count one, two, three into that chain three. We are going to slip stitch. So now here we have the first round of the triangle. So now we are already going to be starting with our front post and back post double crochets. So as you can see on this one, this is the right side of my triangle and this is the back. I don't know if you can see Right here, it's where I've done the joining. So here is going to be the back of the triangle. And you can see here on this side, you don't really see where the joining, the slip stitch joining is because we are always going to be starting with a chain of two from now on so that we can create the rest of the triangle and also the front post and back post double crochets. So remember that you will have a reverse for this triangle, for this pattern. So to create the next round, we are going to chain two in which counts as the first back post double crochet in which is from the chain three here into the previous round, all right? And then you're going to wrap the yarn around the hook and then we are gonna go into the next stitch. So skipping here the chain three, going to the next double crochet stitch 
and we are going to be creating a front post double crochet. So we are gonna go around the back of the double crochet, just like this, and then we are going to yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's a front post double crochet. And now we are going to be doing a back post into the next double crochet. So we are going to wrap the yarn around the hook. We are gonna go through the front of this double crochet, going around the double crochet as you can see. And then we are going to pull up a loop and then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's a back post. So now we are going to do into the next one a front post. So we are going to go through the back, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So here we have covered four stitches into the previous round. We still have one more here at the end, which is double crochet number five. So when you get into the chain three, we are going to be doing two double crochets, two double crochets, a chain of three. You can also decide if you wanna do a chain of three or a chain of two or even a chain of one here for the corners. If you do less then the little gaps in between, the sides will be a little bit closed together and you're not gonna be having like a large gap like this, but I did like with how it looked with the chain of three. So I'm going to be doing a chain of three, but then that's going to be up to you. And then now we are going to be doing two more double crochets into that same chain three space. And now we go into the other side of the triangle. So here we are going to be doing the same as we did here, but now we have all the five double crochets. So we are always, always going to be starting with a front post double crochet, and then we are gonna go back post, front post, back post, and front post. And then you're going to wrap the yarn around the hook, insert your hook underneath this double crochet, then you're going to pull up a loop, and then create a double crochet. So now for the next one, you're going to wrap the yarn around the hook, you're gonna go through the front of the next double crochet, you're going to pull up a loop, and then you're going to be creating a double crochet. So here we have five stitches, so we should have five stitches here at the top, not counting the two. So in total, in total here, we should have five, six, seven, eight, nine double crochets. So the two extra ones will be on the sides into the chain three. So now the next one is going to be a front post. So go through the back of the next double crochet, pull up a loop, and then create a double crochet. So now the next one is going to be a back post, double crochet, and now the last one, so we have a last, a last double crochet here, this one is going to be a front post, double crochet. So now we got into the chain three, so we are going to be doing the same as we did here into this corner. So we are going to be doing two double crochets, a chain of three, and two double crochets. So now we go into the five double crochets. So we are going to be starting with a front post, double crochet, and then back post, and then front post, back post, and the last one, front post. And now we go into the last corner, so we are going to be doing two double crochets into that chain three space, and then chain three plus two double crochets. So now we go into the beginning. Again, so we have one last stitch, one last double crochet that we have to work with. So into this one, we are going to be doing a front post double crochet. And now all we have to do is to slip stitch right on top and into that chain two at the beginning. 
just like that. So here we have the second round completed. So now for the third one, it's going to be much simpler because we already have the back post and the front post double crochets and then we can just follow them and create the next round. So we are always going to be starting with a chain of two. So chain two. And we are going to be following what we have already into the previous round. So here we have a front post double crochet because you can see that it's kind of sticking out. So we are going to go underneath that double crochet and then we are going to be doing a front post double crochet. And then the next one we can see that it's towards the back. So the double crochet is right here at the back. So we are just going to be following that, creating the back post. So you're gonna go towards the front of the double crochet as you can see, going around the back here as you can see, going around it, and then creating a back post double crochet. So now the next one, as you can see here, it's a front post double crochet. So we are going to be doing a front post double crochet. And we got here now into the two double crochets at the end of each group. So when you get into these ones, you're just going to be following the same pattern. So the next one, because the previous one is a front post, the next one is going to be a back post double crochet. And then the following one is going to be a front post. And now we go into the chain three space, the corner. So we are going to be doing exactly the same as the previous round. So creating two double crochets, a chain of three and two double crochets. It's that simple. So now we got here into the other side. So we have the very first two double crochets that we've created into the corner. And we always start with a front post double crochet. So you're going to be creating a front post double crochet into the first one. And then the following one is going to be a back post because that's the pattern that we are following. And then now we already have the back post and front post double crochets here. So the next one, it's a front post. As you can see, it's kind of sticking out towards the front. And then we have the back post. So going to the first one, create a front post and then back post. So we are just following what we already have into the previous round. So front post, back post, front post. And then now we have the two double crochets into the corner. So the next one is going to be a back post because this one, the previous one was a front post. So back post and front post. Now we go into the corner. So we are going to be doing two double crochets, a chain of three and two double crochets. So now we go into the other side and you're going to be following exactly what we've created into the previous side here. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Always starting with a front post double crochet. So now we got here into the end before the chain two. So we are going to be doing front post, back post into the first two. And then now here we have the last one that we have to work with. So it's going to be a front post because that's what it's asking you to do because it's towards the front. And now we go into the chain two. So all we have to do is go into that chain two and create a slip stitch. And you can see that it's pretty invisible. That's really nice. And then the back, it's going to be kind of visible so you know exactly where the back of the triangle is and also the front. So now all we have to do is to keep on following 
the same steps until you have the sizing of the triangle you want. What's going to make this triangle increase? It's the two double crochets, chain three, and two double crochets that you, have, that you add here into the corners. That's what makes the, the triangle to grow and to increase the size. So I'm going to be doing the next round with you just to show you one more time how to do it all the way around and then you can just keep on following the same steps until you have the sizing that you want. So starting with a chain of two, this one counts as the back post which is already here and then the next one is already a front post because you can see that the double crochet it's at the front and it's, it's sticking out and it's kind of in relief you can see here that it's kind of in relief so go into that one front post because it's already front post and that's what we are following and then the next one is a back post because it's towards the back the relief is at the back and then the next one is going to be front back front which is the last one that already has the pattern, the front post and back post double crochet. So now we have the corner in which we have the two double crochets here. So because this one was a front post, then the next one is going to be a back post. And then the following one is going to be a front post. And then when you get into the chain three, we are going to be doing the same as the previous round. So two double crochets, a chain of three, and two double crochets. And now we got here into the other side. So first we have the two double crochets at the beginning. So always starting with a front post double crochet. And then from here, you can just follow the pattern. So front post, back post, front, back, front, back, front, back, all the way to the last double crochet. So now we got into the corner. So we are going to be doing the corner exactly the same as the previous one. So two double crochets, chain three, two double crochets. And then we follow the pattern all the way down, create the next corner, and then I'll be back to show you the, the end of the pattern. So now I got here at the end. So I'm going to be starting with a front post double crochet into the next double crochet and then back post. And then here we already have the pattern. So it's a front post because it's on relief at the front and then back post because it's on relief at the back. And then the last one is going to be a front post double crochet. And all we have to do to slip stitch into the chain two and that's the pattern completed I'm going to do one more I do one more round all the way around as you can see but here is how you create this pattern and then from now on you can just do as many rounds as you want I'm going to be doing one more so that it's exactly the same size as this one here because this one is a little bit smaller so in total for my triangle i did one two three four five rounds so that's how many rounds i did and you can count it here where you have the chain two as you can see so we have the first one and then two three four five so that's how you can count it it's pretty easy to count so I'm doing five rounds in total for mine. All right, so I made my last front post double crochet. So now I'm going to slip stitch into the chain two. And here I have my fifth round completed. Look at that. Isn't it so beautiful? I love this pattern so, so much. So happy that I've learned this pattern. I cannot wait to do something with this pattern. Oh my goshness. <laughs> so now I'm going to cut my yarn. And then I'm going to slide it off the hook and pull this yarn nice and tight to fasten off. There we go. Now we can weave in both of these two yarns. So now to weave in, first I like to weave in the middle one. 
So I'm going to just thread this yarn into my tapestry needle. So now I'm going to just run this yarn into a couple of stitches going down as you can see. And then I'm going to be skipping the first loop and then go back. Skip the first loop and then go back again. And then I do that one more time. I do it four times. Skip the first one and go back. And that's all I do. So now this is going to be super secured in place. And now we can cut this yarn and it's all done. Now we can weave this other one in and I do exactly the same. So I'm just going to weave this one in. I think it stopped working my camera. Sorry about that if it did. So now I'm going to cut this yarn once you have the weave-in completed, going back and forth. So once you have the weave-in completed, you can see I've done the weave-in right here <laughs> because this is the reverse. We can then see how it looks and look at that. Isn't it so beautiful? I love this pattern, this triangle so, so much. And here I have the other one. <gasps> it looks so nice together. Look at that. I'm definitely going to be making something with this. Let me know in the comments what I should make using this triangle. I'm not sure if I should do a little, maybe a little vest or a little blanket or even a scarf. You can also make, oh my God, you can also make a bikini top. This would look amazing as a bikini top actually. And it's already triangle, so that's pretty much done for you. And you can just make the sizing that you want. And to make a bikini top, I would say go for like a chain one instead of um, the chain three as I've done here. And that would be amazing, right? And it's going to be closed and you don't even need a lining if you're going to be making a bikini top with a chain one instead of the chain three. That would look amazing as a bikini top, right? Hmm, another idea for you there. <laughs> so I really, really hope you guys have enjoyed today's tutorial on this beautiful um, relief kind of 3D triangle with back post and front post double crochets. I love this stitch so, so much. I think it's the one that gives more detail to crochet because it looks ribbed and it also gives that amazing texture that we want to see in crochet projects, right? And when you put them together like that, it looks so different and so unique. And it seems like it's going in, in a kind of like a funnel in a way, kind of like going in. I don't know if you know what I mean. It looks like it's kind of a wavy effect when everything is sewed together. And I am going to show you how to sew the two together in a video that I will be using them. So it's pretty easy. You're just going to be choosing one of the shades that you are using in your project. And then you're going to be sewing with your tapestry needle or you can do with slip stitches or single crochets. It's going to be completely up to you. It's so, so easy. And you just follow the stitches that you have and then you sew it. Simple as that. So there is not a secret for sewing the two uh, triangles together and sewing all of them together once you have the, the the amount of triangles you need so yeah this is it this is it for today's video i really really hope you guys have enjoyed learning a new triangle a new pattern with me and if you did enjoy don't forget to leave your massive thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also to tag me on instagram if you end up making something with these triangles or even if you're trying this and you post on instagram don't forget to tag me so that i can see your creation so thank you so so much for watching today's video and i'll see you on my next one Bye-bye.